What's up? What's up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Holy smackovich. Well, I just got done reading an article, I guess, yesterday in New York. An Uber rider tased her passenger, I guess, in the middle of the trip. He picked her up uh, from one place, uh, started driving, you know, to the drop-off location as normal. And then, I guess, at the end of the ride, or in the middle where he stopped somewhere... She's, she told him, she, he didn't get robbed and tased by uh, a guy, um, got tased by a woman. I guess she looked at him and said, look at me in the eyes, and then tased him. Holy crap. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Man, guys, it is getting crazy out there. Um, I guess people getting shot. I mean, they uh, saw an article, what, a couple days ago where... I guess somebody woke up, decided they wanted to kill somebody that day, ordered an Uber, and ended up stabbing their driver to death. It's like, it's, it's, it's very scary out there, guys. It really is, okay? That uh, drivers, obviously, you guys know my policy on all that. You better protect yourselves by any means you feel is necessary. You have to be alert. I mean, hell, if you had those uh, partitions, please use them. Put them up, something, because damn, it's getting crazy. And... You don't get paid enough to deal with this BS, guys. You really don't. You really, really don't. What's going on, Manny? What's up, man? Thanks for five bucks, bro. We got Joey, boss. What's up, guys? What's up, Eddie? But yeah, I don't know if you guys had, had heard this or seen this. What's up, Ted? Yeah, I guess in New York City, a woman ordered an Uber ride uh, about halfway through, just stopped somewhere. She just looked at the driver and said, look at me in the eyes tased him a couple times. He's like, oh, I'm going to call the cops. She's like, I don't care. Call 911. Call whoever you have to. Tased him some more. And then took his wallet, his ID and phone and took off. Just like that. Um, I do believe she did get busted, thankfully. But holy crap, it's it's gotten insane. And then everybody keeps asking me, hey, Dustin, when are you going to go drive? When are you going to go drive? Hell to the no. All this crap out there sure as hell doesn't make me want to go out there and drive. And that's why I tell everybody, hey, man, use these companies the, you know, the best you can to a stepping stone to something else. I started my own company uh, doing drainage systems and stuff. So you guys got to you got to think outside the box and prepare to have an exit strategy because you just don't know when your number is going to come up. You don't know who the hell you're picking up to begin with. And you don't know if that person's having a bad day, good day. They're on drugs. You know what I'm saying? Something's about to kick in. You just don't know anymore. And damn. It's it's really, really crazy. Um, I've been getting a, a bunch of other dash camera footage from other people that are having crazy rides as well. It's just... It's not safe for drivers out there. It really isn't. What's going on, Chuck? My friend started Uber and he got deactivated a week with rude and scumbag riders because they were trying to scam him and he said, nope, he is frustrated. Yeah, that happens a lot, guys. It really does. You just don't... You don't know... Who are you picking up? And you can have the best ride going on. I mean, they could be cool, you know, calm, polite, everything. And then give you a false report right afterwards. Or, you know, pull out a knife and try to stab you or tase you. You just don't know. You can't trust nobody while you're out there doing these rides, okay? Only person you can trust is you. And you need to have them damn dash cameras rolling to make sure that you catch this crap as it goes down. Because otherwise, if you're going to rely on Uber and Lyft... To, um, to help bring these people to justice, you got a better shot at winning the lotto, okay? Because it just ain't going to happen. That's a negative ghost rider. You need to have your own camera so that way you can give footage to police and they, you know, could do facial recognition, whatever the hell they do, but you have a better shot because we already know nine times out of ten, they're going to put the raw, or, you know, a fake name and, and everything else, use a gift card or whatever to sign up with. They're not going to be able to track these people. So it's up to you guys to be able to do it. Joey said, I got a false report and Lyft deactivated me for even the video. They just don't care. Yeah, sometimes they still will. They exactly still will. These companies do not care about you at all whatsoever. So please do not ever think that they do, okay? Because they don't. <laughs> That's right, Eddie. Jazz cam people, got to get one. What's going on, Ted? When I was driving, I carried... Hey, that's smart, Ted. That's why I tell everybody, make sure you protect yourselves by any means necessary. As long as you're following the law, guys, okay? Don't go do nothing stupid, all right? And they'd be like, look, Dustin told me. Nah, 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 nah. We don't play those games. Just make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. 
uh, do it correctly so that way if something does go down, you're not going to be the one held liable. You're going to be the one that was responsible and did everything you were supposed to do. Glittery says, I got a dash cam on all the time. You're damn right. That's exactly what you need to do. Harry, man, yeah, that's a horrible thing to do. It is. And I couldn't believe that. I mean, that, you know, that the woman was like, look at me. Like, look at me, look at me. And then just, just, just tased him. Stole all his stuff and everything. And they said, oh, we, we kicked the rider off the platform. It's like, oh, yay. <laughs> that does what? What does that actually really do? Not a damn thing. It doesn't do anything. Because what? Five minutes later, they can make a new email and just bam, 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 load it all up. And voila, they're back on the platform. There is no repercussions for passengers doing shady things. And they just get away with it. They just do. And it sucks. Drivers are the ones left, you know, holding the bag and can't do anything. I wish I didn't lose my footage of a deer. <laughs> Dang, Ted, I'm glad you're okay, man. Because hitting a deer going 70 miles an hour is not very good. What's going on in here? Check the comments real quick. Ted said, I'm door dashing as my car is damaged currently. Oh, damn, Ted. I was wondering why I ain't seen no more new footage from you, bro. Hope you're okay, though. I just said I would have slammed on the brakes and I would <laughs> go through the windshield. I know that's right. Oh. But, yeah, guys, you really have to be careful. And, you know, sometimes even being alert isn't good enough out there. You have to try to... Uh, like I always told people, if you wanted to, you wanted to put that damn uh, partition in, in your car or whatever, you definitely want to. You definitely want to. Who is this guy? What's going on, Vampirit? But you know what? I'm almost recommending that drivers start doing that because for passengers to just be able to tase you in mid-trip or stab you mid-trip, that's just not good. That's not going to fly. And a lot of people out there be like, oh, it can't happen to me. It won't happen to me. Well, guess what? It... It can, and it possibly will. You just don't know. And that's why I tell everybody, you have to be prepared and plan for the worst. And, you know, expect the best, hope for the best, but you have to plan for the worst thing to happen. You really do. But I couldn't believe the, all the crap that's gone down just like, what, in the last couple weeks. Like I said, besides people getting carjacked in Chicago, um, stabbed in New Orleans, tased in New York City. It's, it's just going crazy. It really is. I'm hard of hearing and love to chat with my riders, but still want to partition one day. Just got to find one. And I don't, and I, and that's the smart way to go. It really is. I mean, a couple years ago, you know, everyone would have laughed a little bit at it, but I swear to God, since the, you know, the, the pandemic and everything had started, everyone like lost their minds and has gone crazy and things have gotten worse year by year by year. It seems like the driver's rates are going down every year and the issues and casualties and everything else are going up. So I don't know if they, you know, have something to do with each other, but it's insane. Drivers shouldn't have to worry about, you know, getting tased, shot, robbed every single day. These companies need to do a little bit better to protect drivers. That's just the bottom line. Or raise pay. You have to make it at least worth taking the risk because now the risk isn't even worth it. You're destroying your cars and everything else. Yes, Vampirette, what's going on? Yep, I'm live. I know I haven't been live since like February. I'm going to try to do more lives more often since it's winter and my company's kind of slowed down a little bit with all the drainage things. What's going on, Chuck? I carry weapons all the time. Hey, man, that's smart. I mean, it really is. And and just remember, you can have a, a, a flashlight, you know, a screwdriver, you know what I'm saying, a, a box cutter. You can have anything out there that's also dual purpose. You know what I'm saying? Dustin is parked. That's right, Eddie. That's right. Do you deliver for Amazon, Amazon Flex? And that's a negative, Ghost Rider. I do not deliver for Amazon at all. I have tried some uh, DoorDash and Grubhub, but man, it's all these apps right now are just paying crap. And unless you're, you're full time and you're in a really good market, it's just not really worth it. It really isn't. In Ohio, it's constitutional carry. Hey, that's what's up. Lyft has cut our rates in Jersey. I don't doubt that, Vampirate. <laughs> I don't doubt that at all. And this is like, uh, what? The second or third? Third most, like, expensive state. So, yeah, for them to keep cutting the rates and everything, it's it's pretty crazy. At my building, they're paying pretty well during peak. Hey, that's what's up, Anthony. Lead pipe, knife, spare phone, strapped to my leg. Hey, 
You, it's pretty much like you got to go to war, man. You got to put on a, uh, well, some body armor. <laughs> you got to have your mace. You got to have everything going on with you. Some flashbangs. It, it's getting crazy out there. It really has. And I don't know how the connection's going through. I'm right outside my driveway, but it seems like the connection really sucks a lot. Yeah, you got to have a tactical vest. That's right, Ted. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this for a second because I just thought that was crazy. So everyone, you know, tries to think, you know, um, it's equal rights, guys. Just because she's a woman don't mean uh, she ain't going to do nothing to you. All right. We had, did have that woman passenger back in the day, what, a couple years ago, pulled out a machete and stabbed her driver. So you just don't know. Don't trust anybody. I don't care how good they look, how nice they are, how much they smile. Don't trust them. Don't at all whatsoever. Okay. Sit here and freaking do your thing, drive, uh, have your mirrors, everything going, your cameras. You just got to be prepared for anything, guys, for anything. I know, Eddie. How about them Eagles? 12 and 1, baby. Go, Birds. But please, guys, uh, you got to be safe out there. This is, uh, it's getting pretty ridiculous and people keep asking, you know, is it even worth the drive anymore? <laughs> My honest opinion, hell no. It's really not. And besides, I, I would have tried to go out there and at least do a ride or two just because I know people have been waiting for me to go out and drive again. But I'm still uh, waiting on the background check. It's been like over six months and they still haven't come through my background check, which I'm like, uh, nothing's changed. But I don't know. Maybe uh, Uber and Lyft, they watch my videos. They're like, <laughs> we're trying to keep him off as, as long as we can. They don't want me to go back out there. Uh, well, please, guys, everyone that is out there driving... You got to be safe. Please be safe. Be smart. Be alert. And don't trust anybody, like I said. But all right, guys. I got to go pick up my kids for the bus stop. Do your thing. Get your money. Don't take crap from anybody. And until next time, guys, Uber and Lyft on or don't. Peace out, everybody.